apparently, apparently this is natural wood putty and I don't know I guess I have to buy oak wood putty I don't know because I don't like I don't know well, anyway casings done casings done Ain't much going on here, just a, a new light because the ceiling fan didn't um, work. I, I did some creative wiring in here before. Come on, there we go. I had a little something something bare wires going on there. Just put that off. Yeah, so this room's done. Okay, there you go. Like I said, I'm not. Not no carpenter. Um, this is what I'm working on today. Uh, there you go. Mm-hmm. I hate drywall work. We got a raw two by four, so we got to cat that off. There you go. Um, yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. Little extra nail going through. That's ah, nice. Anyway, and if I get that done, um, I'll put a new ceiling fan in here, and there's no water damage, it's just, I did this about 30 years ago, something happened, I don't know, but anyway, I had to scrape all that and then put plaster or whatever you want to call it joint compound to smooth it out I don't know, well I can't complain it's been 30 years since I've had to do it the rest of the ceiling is fine um, there ain't a whole lot going on here um, I don't know man it is what it is Oh yeah, it's gonna be another 90 degree day, which you know, it is what it is. Ghetto garage ain't seen this much action in a long. Okay, this is like sheetrock, I don't know. I'm not a drywaller. I hate drywall more than body work. Because it's long flat areas. This stuff will, I don't know, it's grade 20 of kicking 15 minutes. Okay, then do a little some of that and then you do a little some of, there we go, focus a little some of that. And um, yeah, this would be the cave and pave um, addition. Mm -hmm. It's nice. The ceiling in the kitchen. Um, before I bought this house, I've been here like 28 years. Right up there, must got wet. Way back in the day, I put a new roof on it 20 years ago. But anyway, because I went up in the attic, you can see water marks that are real dark and black, but it's dry. That means the water damage a long time ago. So somebody passed this back in the day. Mm-hmm. Did I have to go this deep? No, but it's kind of like rust in the car. Um, here we go, phone ringing. Yep, yeah, it's not for me. Here we go. It must have got pretty wet, as you can tell by the... Oh, here we go. Because in the older houses, the house is built 52. It's got that, not chicken wire, but uh, reinforcement in the corners and the archways and, you know, it just, because this is like drywall and plaster. Who? Pick it up, just got the phone, I don't know where we're at, but this is what we got. It's like a gypsum board. It got wet way back in the day and did I have to dig that far? No, I didn't, but I need a substance to put, make it adhere to it, put it that way. Um, yeah, you can tell right there, way back in the day it got wet. 
I'm doing a little hack a pat and mm -hmm, it's gonna look fabulous. It is gonna look fabulous. Watch. I only had to shut the door over a half inch, really. Um, and I don't think the house solved either, but whatever. Mm-hmm. And then there's glue all right here. <clears throat> Construction grade adhesive right there. And all that shows. And how do you get it off? Yeah, okay. Mmm. Nice. Still not done. Done. Done all that brokage there. Ceiling's done. All the lot boards are done. Who's a hoarder? My wife. Anyway, I don't know what day it is. It's Thursday, there you go. Um, what have I done? Um, finish this window, then you gotta putty it and then put clear on it and caulk it. And, and then I had to go back and do all this stuff right here. Um, yeah, clear it because I never did. And because I didn't clear it when I put it up there, I had to resand it. Anyway, um, Lord have mercy. These are some old covers, um, the original to the house. I did some whatever, and I still need to do these, and I turned them into these. All oh, this is is uh, oak corner 45, and the covers are just capped in a quarter inch. That $30 a sheet. Oh, let me see. The bathroom was done. It was. Jimmy jammed up there. Um, yeah, the bathroom's done. I think I showed you the video. The bedroom's done. Uh, the 70s room. This is when I realized my wife's a hoarder. But anyway, I'm not hating. I'm just stating. Um, finished all this stuff. You got to build a lot of stuff up. Then you got to sand down, clear it, putty the nails, like I said. Sanded all that stuff down, cleared it, steam cleaned the carpet, uh, yeah, okay. Let's move on to the next one. What else? Um, stuff we still got to do. Um, the major things are, I got to finish these windows in and do the, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> do the cupboards. Um, this is out of that quarter inch whatever you want to call it it's not solid oak it's I don't know how they do it but it was easier just to put oak in there and uh, yeah you can see some plaster work it's gonna be hard to match the um, paint up because this paint is probably 10 years old if not longer older than that got to pass that stuff um, you realize the guy that helped you doesn't know what the fucking level is anyway let's move on got to put drywall in there to fill that up and then you forget things like, you know, wow, that's that old chicken wire they used to put in the corners of windows to make them sturdy. And then, you know, you didn't think it was that bad because the culture's in the, in the way. So you start tapping on it and anything that's loose has to come out because the new plaster slash drywall, whatever you put over top, isn't going to be uh, sound. Um, yeah, so you build all this up. Uh, you went and got some 2 by 4s What I'm doing is just ripping them down. Uh, it's just easier for me just to rip a 2x4 down, you know, of course from the height top to the bottom it isn't the same 
distance like this will be two and a half that'll be two and a quarter so you got to cut it on a goddamn angle anyway um yeah everybody knows how carpentry work is um yeah and then there we go I got a power wash the deck, waterproof it. Oh, words of wisdom today, don't put shit off forever, okay? Because it'll come back and it'll be one big project. And some pieces of the wood are um, tasty, so I got to replace some of those. Um, yeah, I've been putting that off. Um, yeah. And then, then um, do the basic things. Like in a basement where I do some what I call creative wiring, which you're not supposed to do, which I understand that, but I never planned on moving from this house, but I am, so here I am at. You know, you can't have things like this, you know. Um, you can't have just bare wires, even if you had nut connectors on it, you still got to have it in a box, you know. This ain't, this ain't custom deluxe. And you just got to go through, and you can't have that hidden behind drywall. I understand that, and I know better, but whatever. So now I got to go back, put things in boxes, put covers on them, you know. I know better than this, but now I'm paying the price. It's just life. It gets overwhelming a little bit, but you just do a little bit every day, as much as you can. At my age, I'm fucking old and tired anyway. And this is uh, $30 sheets of, I don't know what they call it. They call it, um... Top, top choice red oak um, and you just cap it and glue it and then I don't know how much it got set in my mom's house of this Howard Miller oak trim that has to be cut down to go around the 45 degree angles which if I had to buy this would be very expensive so I'm grateful that I have this um, when you cut oak when you're trying to rip it down on a table saw wow you better you better you better watch what you're doing, especially if you don't want slivers. You better wear some goddamn gloves. You better put this little thing down so that if it does kick back, you know, it ain't going through the fucking window. And, um, yeah, I'm not complaining. There's another little thing that was a 220 right there, and I just cut it out, put it in the shoe shack, and, you know, I got to put a cap on that. I mean, uh, not tie it off. Uh, my wife did get a new rim, ain't got time to do it. Um, I gotta work with my wife's Grand Prix because uh, it shimmies a little bit in the front. It might be a ball joint tie rod. Maybe it's a tire. I really don't know. Uh, commercial brake and yeah, don't push it off. Don't push it off. Don't push it off. Um, it's okay to put some things off, but if you put too much things off, it gets overwhelming. I get the anxiety and I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. But it's true. Yeah. Anxiety. Oh, I went and had a heart murmur fucking test thing because my valve is, I can hear it open and close. So we'll get the results from, of that one of these days. Uh, and I asked, the, I asked the girl that was doing that little probe thing, you know, you can see inside your valve, it's kind of weird. But anyway, to watch that out. Uh, I said, um, is everything good? And she can't tell me, you know, the, I think the red aisle is just, or whatever the guy's name is, he's got to look at it. And then the only thing she would tell me is, well, I'm not sending you to the ER. So that means it looks adequate, I guess. One more time, life. words of wisdom. If you're gonna put oak up or anything, unfinished wood, clear that motherfucker right from the get-go. Don't wait years in order to clear it because then you gotta go back and sand all the dirt that was ground in it. Finish the mop boards. Yeah, there we go. I did all these mop boards in oak back in the day too, and I never, I never cleared them, and you know they were getting to be a piece of something. So I had to go back and do that. And yeah, did I mention my wife's a hoarder? She is, and got I got to teach her to. You can't don't don't buy knickknack paddywhack get yourself a dog a bone. I don't have my problem with my wife buying stuff, but when you buy little things and. They end up in boxes and bags. Sometimes I wish I didn't have a basement so she couldn't hide it. I'm not saying bad things about her. I'm just saying um, some people, I think in a marriage, one one spouse is on a budget and the other spouse is not. One's a spender, one's a saver. I think that's how life is, um, opposites attract. And my wife gets a little carried, uh, gets carried away. 
Um, then again, I get carried away at my own aspect in life too, so who am I to point fingers at? But anyway, you know, you start collecting whatever, pieces of carpet. You know, my wife is a lot like my mom, which is really good, don't get me wrong. I love my mom to death, I love my wife to death, but they won't, you know, they won't throw a piece of carpet away. They won't throw, they won't throw things away. <laughs> They, <laughs> and I call it hoarding, kind of. Um, they won't throw stuff away. Me, if something doesn't work, if I got some sandpaper and it doesn't it isn't performing, I know it costs money, and I know it's going to irritate me because for whatever reason, I throw it in the garbage and get rid of it and move on to the next day, next thing. But my wife and my mom, they hoard things. They, they, they hoard it. So, I don't know what's that about. I'm not a hoarder. Anyway, I think I've said what I want to say. Peace product, peace, peace on earth, rest in peace, big peace, five peace, extra peace, little peace, plus a piece of corn dog, piece of pizza. And when the big dogs get all done eating, even if puppies like me, get a piece of something, motherfucker. Don't put shit off, people. It'll get overwhelming. Just, just do what you gotta do. Some days I do more than others, but it's got all gotta get done. Cause um, this house has gotta go for sale eventually. If my mom decides to go to Florida, which some days she wants to go to Florida, some days she doesn't want to go to Florida. So um, I don't want to have to do all this stuff if she decides somehow to go to Florida or or wherever. So it's. I, I want to look them up. It was unnecessary, but you know, kids are kids and fucking assholes are fucking assholes and Anyway, I didn't want to wait till the last minute to um, finesse things up because I believe, you know, I watch a lot of house hunters that if you have a nice kitchen and if you have a nice bathroom, um, that's what women really like. And I don't care what anybody says, when it comes to a house, the woman's going to clean it and cook in it and do the laundry, generally. So they're going to get the house they want. So that's what I'm trying to make the selling factors of this house. What am I going to get out of it? I don't know. I never plan on selling. And I didn't I plan on dying here, but things change in life. Um, drink water, lock slow. When in doubt, whip it out. Push the pot through. Enjoy your evening. Do what you gotta do every day, man. Don't put it off.